I couldn't sleep, I couldn't lie down at night. I had to sit up in bed at night in order to be able to breathe. I would go to Cigna and they would tell me I had bronchitis and just give me medicine and send me home. No matter what kind of medicine they gave me, I just didn't get better. Then the Cigna director called me up and she told me that there was nothing wrong with me at all. I got out of phone book and I called the doctor and I was really distraught by this time. It was nine o'clock at night and I guess he could hear the pain and the terror in my voice and he met me there and I came with my film and my CAT scan and he just put it in. It took exactly 30 seconds. He told me, you have cancer. And he said, the reason Cigna didn't want to give you your records is they've known right way back for years that you have cancer and they weren't, they're not going to treat you. A lot of money is made in this country off of sick people. I understand why these folks are fighting health care reform. The CEO of Cigna, Ed Hanway, the annual revenue, $19.1 billion, $292 million in net income, his salary, $12.2 million. The reason I left Cigna was because toward the end of my career, I was able to see how insurance companies maximize profits by denying claims, uh, denying care essentially, and by dumping the sick. It's all for the purpose of uh, maximizing profits and enhancing shareholder value for uh, Wall Street investors. Sometimes people will forget that they had acne at some point during the past and not disclose that. And then later on, the insurance company can use that as a reason to cancel their insurance. Another way that insurance companies maximize their profits is by denying coverage or denying a claim. Not a She was 14. She died yesterday at the age of 17. The uh, family plans to sue because the company twice denied. Deny, deny, deny. Why? One of the things that investors and analysts look at is something called a medical loss ratio. And this is a measure of how much of every premium dollar that you contribute is actually paid out in medical claims by the insurance company. The less a company pays out in medical claims, the more money is available for executive salaries. We've been married for 11 years. It was April 1st. She had talked about having a headache, and she went to lay down for a little while. She cried out my name in, in this really hoarse, strange voice. She felt like she was having a stroke. One of the things that was really amazing, if she wanted to answer yes, she would put her thumb up, and if she wanted to say no, she would keep her thumb down, and if she really meant no, she'd put her thumb under her finger. I was away from her for a few days. When I came back, um, I started asking Marion questions and I couldn't get her to answer me. I said, Marion, is everything okay? And she put her thumb all the way down under there. We went on for about two hours. As I finally got it out of her, I asked, are you afraid that I'm gonna leave you? And she said, yes. And I just, I leaned over and I started whispering our wedding vows into her ear. And I said, for better or worse, in sickness and in health. The case manager at the nursing home called me in and was really upset and she said Cigna is wanting to discontinue therapy with her. The doctors called and appeals were denied. It has been a day in and day out fight. Every talk that I've had with them it's been how can we wiggle off this hook. By denying the company can save quite a bit of money so there's constant constant pressure uh, on these executives to uh, deny care or dump the sick just to make sure that uh, there's enough money left over to to maximize profits. Is there a way to generate financial momentum and business momentum in the health insurance business? We have had good success this year in doing that. Our membership's up about 5% in that overall flat market. We're taking market share and it has to be profitable growth, so that's key as well. Great homes, great lifestyle. 
that there's a price that people are paying for your lifestyle, Mr. Hanway. I wonder how many people there were like me who had to suffer to pay for all that. I often would fly on one of the corporate jets. I was given gold-plated flatware to eat my lunch. I was sitting in a very spacious and luxurious uh, leather chair. Someone's premiums were paying for my lunch on gold-trimmed china.